Hey, this is Ash Productions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an ISO and boot an ISO. Firstly, what I'm going to do is put a blank CD into the CD tray. This is just a 700 megabyte CD, 80 minutes worth of video, I think, or music. Yeah, so put that in. There we go. After I put the blank CD into my CD drive, I'm going to need a software called Power ISO. Once you have Power ISO, here's the ISO file that I'll be using. This is just a memory test, it's just like what I'm going to use to demonstrate. The only reason it's appearing as the same logo is because it's an ISO file which automatically associates itself with it. So you open up Power ISO, just make it the same size. Right, once you have it open, you want to go to open at the top, you want to go down, locate your file and press open. As you can see, it's done. So now I want, you want to go to burn, make sure your CD is in the CD-ROM drive, go to burn, it detects your, it detects your CD on where it is, you want to make sure everything's fine, all the settings are correct for your CD and then you press burn. This does take a while I think. I'm just going to see how long it takes. If it takes too long I'll skip. Oh no it doesn't take too long so. Yeah what this is doing now is burning the ISO to the blank CD that I've put in as you saw at the start of the video. Right. Burning successful. As you can see, after the burning has been successful, the CD comes out of the CD drive. What I'm going to do now is when I next cut back into the video, I'll be on the BIOS. Okay, so now I'm in my BIOS. You normally get into your BIOS by powering down your computer, turning it back on again, and it normally prompts you. For me, it's delete. It may be F8 for you you move the keyboard, you press the keyboard left and right arrows to move tabs. You, you want to go on the boot tab. Now you want to select boot device priority by pressing enter. As you can see first is removable when it shouldn't be. So I go to enter, I press enter again, sorry, and you go down to CD-ROM. Press F10 to to save changes and this will mean it wants to boot from your CD. Save configuration changes, yes, enter again and now it will reboot. Now I've put my CD in. Here we go. It, that has now booted from my CD and now it's doing the RAM test. This is all from the ISO. As you can see it's testing each like code of the RAM. So yeah, that's how you burn an ISO to a disk and run an ISO. That's all you have to do. You literally put it in power ISO, burn it to a disk, power down your computer, turn it back on again, go into the BIOS, change boot device to CD-ROM then turn back on again with your CD in and it will come up with the program that you requested to be on ISO. Thanks for watching Ads Productions I hope you learned something from, something from this video. Please subscribe or rate.